I loved how the other caller was saying, oh, I wish we could just take, uh, if we got rid of religion, maybe we'd get, you know, actually rid of some of these wars. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, from my own experience as a child, I grew up Catholic. And I remember at seven years old meeting a Jewish girl that didn't believe in, uh, you know, Jesus. Christ, whatever. And then, mm -hmm. and then I was like thinking, I hate Jews, I hate Jews. At seven years old, um, thank, thank sad, God, and I'm being, I'm, I, I know, and thank God I'm being funny about that. I grew out of that by uh, basically my work experience, you know, because I worked in the computer field and worked with all these different religions, you know, all these people with different religions. And my, my actually my favorite class in college was world religions. Cause I'm thinking, this is crazy. Now how can, you know, so it actually woke me up. And, uh, and like I said, um, it's just a shame what, uh, religion has done to, uh, to our country, to everybody, you know I mean? It's just, yeah. uh, it can be very divisive. Yes. 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 Right. And like I said, and even with people that hate uh, Christians and Jews, the problem is, is that at young ages, I mean, like two, three years old, they're taught, you know, I hate, you know, hate Jews, hate Christians, you know, not, you know, why we're having, uh, you know, this terrorism, whatever this, first of all, we're bombing them. So, you know, of course they're mad at us. And then, you know, they're growing up at age two and three to hate Christians, Jews in the West and America. whatever, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. Right, and uh, plus the fact we're bombing them. I mean, that's <laughs> so. Right. I mean, right. I, I don't know what to do about it, and and like I said, I mean, we've known for years that religions has been part of a, uh, you know, and it's so funny. I was raised uh, Catholic, like the worst one, mm. the worst. I don't one. know about <laughs> me. Yeah, I don't know. Which, whichever religion you had to grow up under that you don't like, it I, will seem to I be the to worst be a, one I to you. I wanted to be a nun when I was seven. I mean, no, my oh, grandma's my sister, my yeah. grandma's sister was Sister Madeline. Her, my grandma's brother was. Well, let a those priest. hormones uh, kick in for right. a while. Yeah, because first, a yeah. seven-year-old totally <laughs> is in a position to know. Well, I'm never going to want to have any sex. So. <laughs> yeah, you're missing no, out on all the fun. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, no, I don't know. It was just uh, it was. Uh, so yeah, no. Anyways, that was my experience. But the funniest part about it is that. Uh, my father is actually my adoptive father. He was Jewish, and he was raised strict Jewish. But I think he hated it because we had the best Christmases, you know, I mean, with the big tree and all that. And, and so, you know, he just – and that's actually how I met the Jewish girl. Well, Christmas was, like, is grandma, more fun than Hanukkah, Jewish. I have to admit. Yeah. Right, right. So, but it wasn't, you know – and uh but you know uh, my you know i think uh i think my parents still go to church whatever and you know because you know whatever well it's complicated <laughs> you know there's this whole community yeah. thing and and uh traditions and these sorts of things that people you know hang their hang their lives on and um you know it's not all bad it's not all good uh we we try to on our show here we try to have conversations and dissuade people from bad beliefs or belief, beliefs for bad reason and you know if if people um come to different conclusions than us that's okay um uh, as mm -hmm. long as they're thinking uh that's that's all we can ask i know but the, but again the sad thing about it is uh it also starts with uh, how they're teaching the children you know yeah the whole indoctrination um, thing is yeah. kind of creepy and scary and, and you know, there's a lot of religions that do it yeah i mean that's uh yeah i mean I, I guess it's getting less and less but i'm not quite sure i mean i think a lot of churches these days are more like what they call a uh, non-denominational or something like that and um well you know. i mean it's also true that a lot of people just don't believe as strongly as they used to i think a lot of churches are are becoming non-denominational or whatever because thanks to the internet so many people are exposed to alternative points of view and it's hard to pin down somebody in this little bubble of faith uh, like it used to be, and right. so and I think churches are just scrambling to do what they can to keep up. Yeah, and there's a bit of a backlash towards the hyper conservative, you know, crazy. Uh, we want to run your life uh, sort of religion that that has pervaded a lot of the right wing uh, in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a backlash right now towards that, and uh, people are sort of saying, well, maybe this maybe this religion thing isn't for me. Maybe uh, maybe I'm a nun, uh, n o n e. Um, maybe <laughs> right, you had the yeah. wrong spelling when you were a kid, you know, and you should have been a nun instead of a nun. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but I'm bummed. Okay. 
Well, thank you so much for putting me on. I just wanted to share my uh, childhood experience, I guess. And Yeah, well, it's not uncommon. Uh, we hear a lot of that. And, and, you know, we've gotten calls from 60 and 70 year olds saying that they've been an atheist for most of their lives, but they're still afraid of hell because of this indoctrination is still got their hooks in them. And it's kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not afraid. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Well, thank you so much and uh, keep going. And uh, okay. thanks again for your YouTube. All right. All right. All right. Thank you thanks, for Lori. calling, Lori. <laughs> Don't forget to vote. I, Bye. <laughs> all right. Bye bye. Please vote. All right. <laughs> bye. I am, I'm going to vote. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.